For some reason, I couldn't help but think of Alfred Hitchcock when I was looking at Steve Carell while watching Foxcatcher. Foxcatcher comes to us from Bennett Miller and stars Channing Tatum, Steve Carell, and Mark Ruffalo and is a true story of a Olympic gold medalist who joins Team Foxcatcher led by John E. DuPont, a multi-millionaire sponsor who sponsors Mark Schultz in the upcoming World Championships. As Mark Schultz and John E. DuPont spend more time together, the relationship wears on Mark Schultz, played by Channing Tatum, and leads to unlikely circumstances. I was really looking forward to this. Moneyball is one of the best sports films I've ever seen. And I was looking to see what Bennett Miller would do with Foxcatcher. I liked the story of Foxcatcher and everything that had happened. And I was just really looking forward to it. The style looked really great. And Foxcatcher, even though it has some flaws, is still a really great movie. Some of the flaws in Foxcatcher is that it is a very slow paced film. And you know, it takes some time to build up in some interesting moments between the relationship between all three of them, Mark Ruffalo, Steve Carell, and Shane Tatum. It takes some time to get to that, but a lot of the beginning of the film is very slow burning and, you know, I caught myself being bored at times, but it does pick up, not like, bam, this movie picks up and it is great. It takes its time to build up to it and build its characters. In the beginning of the film, you're wondering, oh, Steve Carell, we've seen him in the trailers, you see how weird he can get, and I'm curious to see how this is going to pan out. And it takes its time to pan uh, Steve Carell's character, uh, Johnny DuPont, out a lot, and he builds everything up, and you get to understand him a lot more. He's just not some crazy guy. He has feelings that had happened to his past, and that affects what he feels uh, towards these two brothers. Um, Mark and Dave Schultz, and I really like that about Steve Carell. Uh, all three of these actors give career best performances. I was a little worried about Shane Tatum, you know, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, The Val, you know, The Pretty Boy, Magic Mike, and I was worried, you know, he'd bring that to the Foxcatcher movie. But he was so great in this film. Um, he, the relationship wore thin on him, and he just couldn't handle it, and it showed. Mark Ruffalo, you know, I really like Mark Ruffalo in this film because. He looks so great. His posture, how he walked, how he handled his hands, everything about it was seemed like he was staying true to the character. He was giving it all. They, he didn't sound like Mark Ruffalo, and he too gave a really great performance. Now, Steve Carell. Everybody's talking about Steve Carell with the nose job and uh, all the makeup and everything, how he doesn't look like himself. He doesn't look like himself. He doesn't even act like himself. And that's why I really like Steve Carell in this film. He gives a very sinister mysterious role to uh, Johnny DuPont and who Johnny DuPont uh, he had some things going on in his brain and he was kind of messed up at times and I think Steve Carell handled this role so perfectly and it was dark it was mysterious it was sinister and you're just wondering when is he going to crack because Steve Carell had all this build up and it just showed and when it did it paid off I really like the look of Foxcatcher it's dark it's mysterious um, you know, it's filmed perfectly, like Moneyball. It has a different kind of style of Moneyball, but the way that the film is handled has this ominous look to it, just like the plot to the movie. So the style of the film, I think, matches the plot a lot, the way that it's handled. It's dark, ominous, sinister, and it just handles everything that happened between uh, three these three people, Johnny DuPont and the Schultz brothers. So even though that the film was rather slow in the beginning and rather slow throughout the whole entire film, it did have some build up that it paid off nicely and um, you know it was all handled really well. A slow burning film that I think people will get a little bit bored with at times, but once you get into the relationship between Mark Schultz and John E. DuPont, I think a lot of people will start to get more interested because that is when things start to pick up and you get to understand the characters a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and give Foxcatcher a B plus. This is Just Watch His Movies. This is a review of Foxcatcher which is directed by Bennett Miller and stars Steve Carell, Channing Tatum, and Mark Ruffalo. And I'll see y'all later.